One of the first set of hands to hold a newborn is his mother's. Over the years, those hands let go more often as the child becomes independent. But for parents of autistic children, that can't always happen. News 10's Abby Walton has a story of one local mother who's using her two hands to make sure her son can have four paws and a sense of freedom. Seven-year-old Levi Walker loves to run. If it were up to him, there would be no boundaries. But as you can see, there are. But that doesn't mean Levi hasn't tried pushing the limits. I like to say that we try to stay a step ahead of Levi. Levi's always a step ahead of us. Levi's mother, Amy, says the family has tried everything from clip locks to spring locks and now combination locks, all to keep Levi from running off. And our family, it doesn't matter if I'm standing right there. If he wants to bolt, if he wants to figure a lock out, he's, he's going to be gone. And that's a big problem because Levi has a nonverbal form of autism. He doesn't speak and his brain doesn't process information as quickly as other people. So if he took off, finding him could be very difficult. Between everything that goes along with autism, being the wandering, the behaviors, um, just anxiety in general, it's kind of like, okay, how can we alleviate this for Levi? So Amy decided to find a solution, not only to give her peace of mind, but also to encourage Levi's growing need for independence. After lots of research on the internet, she kept coming back to this site, Four Paws for Ability. It's a nonprofit group based out of Ohio that trains service dogs for children with disabilities. And more specifically, it started training dogs for children with autism. Four Paws eliminates a lot of the waiting lists that other agencies have by allowing their families to fundraise part of what it would cost to train a service dog. The nonprofit says training a dog cost around $22,000 and asks each family to come up with $13,000. It's a goal the Walker family knows could take a while to reach, but what this dog will give back to their family will be worth it. When Levi's upset, if I try to interrupt, if I try to get in his space, it just escalates. It makes it so much worse where the service dog will be able to come and if nothing else, place its head on Levi's lap. After reaching their goal, the Walker family will head to the Four Paws Complex for 11 days of intensive training, including learning a skill called tracking. Should Levi ever get away from his parents or home, the dog will be able to find him more quickly by tracking his scent. It's going to give me a little bit of comfort of knowing that there's another option to keep Levi safe. And as the mother of an autistic son, Amy says that means a lot. And hopefully soon, a set of four paws will be working right alongside those human hands to make sure Levi remains a happy and healthy kid. Reporting in Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim, <laughs> Abby Walton, News 10. Now you can help Levi reach his $13,000 goal by attending a fundraiser. That's coming up tomorrow from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Bouncing Barn in Terre Haute. The cost is $5 per child. And during those three hours, half of all the admissions will go to four paws for Levi. Also, if you cannot attend but would like to help Levi, Amy has created a Facebook page documenting their journey called Four Paws for Levi. We'll have that information plus more on Four Paws for Ability at WTHITV.com.